Quavo reportedly sent a repo man to reclaim the Bentley that he had leased for his ex-girlfriend Saweetie in the early hours of Saturday morning. Quavo did not repossess Bentley, he sent to Saweetie. An insider recently spoke to MTO News and revealed that in the wake of his recent breakup with the songwriter, the Migos member had the $350,000 Bentley convertible that he had leased for his former flame repossessed. The source noted that the drastic action was taken due to the 27-year-old rapper airing out the couple's breakup woes on her Twitter account, which Quavo viewed as inappropriate. But later on Sunday, a source told TMZ that the car was not repossessed. Specifically, the insider commented he's not being petty or anything, but she's on Twitter talking, so he took back the car. Last week, the Tappan singer took to her account to let her fans know how she was feeling about the state of her love life. I'm single, I've endured too much betrayal and hurt behind the scenes for a false narrative to be circulating that degrades my character, the icy girl hitmaker wrote. Presents don't band-aid scars and the love isn't real when the intimacy is given to other women, she added. The 29-year-old rapper responded to Saweetie's post by going on the offensive as he took to Twitter later Friday to post, I had love for you and disappointed you did all that. You are not the woman I thought you were. I wish you nothing but the best. Saweetie took the high road as she retweeted the post while adding, take care. The duo first sparked breakup rumors when they unfollowed each other on Instagram. Eagle-eyed fans noticed the brunette beauty unfollowed the Migos star first before Quavo returned the favor. Adding fuel to the fire, Saweetie later gave an interview in which she declared, I don't like liars, but refused to confirm who she was referring to. During an interview with Justin LeBoy on the Respectfully Justin YouTube channel, Saweetie was asked about the most disrespectful thing a man had done to her. She responded, He break your heart, it's the last straw, but would not be drawn on who the man was. I think it's lying, it's the principle, I don't like liars, she added. The pair's romance began on Instagram in 2018 when he DM'd her a snowflake emoji referencing her 2017 hit, Icy Girl. I told her, you an icy girl, you need a glacier boy. Quavo, born Quavius Marshall, said in a July story for GQ. Saweetie replied, and I sent him the stir fry back, referencing Migos' 2017 hit song. After months of phone calls, the cousin of Gabrielle Union agreed to fly to Atlanta for their first date, which began at Stony River Steakhouse and Grill where he nearly choked on a crab cake. I'm still getting to know him, so I feel awkward because he's, like, choking at the table, Saweetie said. Quavo then gave her a tour of his recording studio Quality Control Music before capping the night off at the strip club Magic City where a fight broke out, and the pair have been together ever since. Saweetie is one of rap's rising stars, with two platinum singles and reaching the top 25 on the Billboard Hot 100 while her debut album Pretty Music drops later this year. The album, which she served as an executive producer on, also sees collaborations with Dr. Luke, Jay White, The Morgue, as well as Danja Hands and Rob Knox and Timbaland. The rapper started to gain attention after releasing her song Icy Girl to Instagram, which garnered a million views in the first week. She followed it up with the 2019 summer single My Type, which debuted on Billboard's Hot 10 chart, making her only the seventh female rapper to do so. Social media was overrun with rumors on Saturday, March 20th, that Quavo sent a repo man to take back the Bentley he gave his ex, Saweetie, before they broke up. While there has been plenty of pettiness to go around in the 72 hours since the rappers announced their split, this particularly low blow turned out to be false. TMZ reported on Sunday, March 21st, citing sources directly connected to the Migos rapper that there's no truth to this particular story. There was plenty of buzz on social media about the Migos rapper sending someone to this ex-girlfriend's house in the wee hours of Saturday morning to repossess the $350,000 luxury ride following the couple's recent breakup. I'm single, I've endured too much betrayal and hurt behind the scenes for a false narrative to be circulating that degrades my character, she wrote. Presents don't band-aid scars and the love isn't real when the intimacy is given to another woman. Saweetie explained that she emotionally checked out a long time ago and has walked away with a deep sense of peace and freedom. Quavo responded, I had love for you and disappointed you did all that. You are not the woman I thought you were. I wish you nothing but the best. The couple had been romantically linked since 2018 in an interview on The Real that year. Saweetie responded to rumors about their relationship by saying Quavo was cute and admitting that they enjoyed each other's company.
Rumors were swirling this weekend that the Migos rapper had his now ex's luxury ride repossessed as payback for breaking up with him so publicly this past week. But we're here to tell you definitively, there's simply no truth to it. Sources directly connected to Quavo tell TMZ he didn't repo the Bentley and anything suggesting otherwise is flat out false. Reports surfaced Saturday that Quavo sent the repo man out to Saweetie's home in the wee hours of the morning to take the car back. Supposedly, he leased it and never put it in Saweetie's name, and a deal he struck with the dealership allowed him to end the contract early, which he's alleged to have done in the wake of their split. That's a cool story and all, but we're hearing it just didn't happen. You didn't have to take our word for it either. There's literally no evidence of this going down. No photos or video suggesting anyone repoed anything. The whole thing's based on speculation, as is often the case with these things. A little backstory on this Bentley. Quavo gifted it to Saweetie back in late December of this past year as an early Christmas present. It had a bow on it and everything, and Saweetie was ecstatic at the time when it was unveiled to her. Makes sense, it is a beaut after all. Of course, this all comes after Saweetie declared she was single, while also strongly suggesting Quavo cheated during their time together as a couple. Quavo responded to her, basically saying he was disappointed in her and that she wasn't who he thought she was. As for the Bentley issue, we've reached out to Saweetie's team for official comment as well, so far no word back. Shutting down the rumors about the 29-year-old's MC's attempt in repossessing the pricey present was TMZ. The outlet claimed that he neither leased the car in his name nor ended the lease early in the wake of his breakup from his ex-girlfriend. Reports about Quavo repossessing Saweetie's gift emerged on Saturday, March 19th. Quavo's no dummy. The Bentley wasn't in her name, a source told MTO News. He's not being petty or anything, but she's on Twitter talking shit. So he took back the car. He got that shit. The workin' me spitter gifted the car to his then-girlfriend in late December 2020. Revealing the present was the 27-year-old beauty on Instagram stories. My heart is beating so fast, she gushed at the time. This is the best, oh, oh my god. I'm still getting to know him, so I feel awkward because he's, like, choking at the table, Saweetie said. Quavo then gave her a tour of his recording studio quality control music before capping the night off at the strip club Magic City where a fight broke out, and the pair have been together ever since. Saweetie is one of rap's rising stars, with two platinum singles and reaching the top 25 on the Billboard Hot 100 while her debut album, Pretty Music, drops later this year. The album, which she served as an executive producer on, also sees collaborations with Dr. Luke, Jay White, The Morgue, as well as Danja Hands and Rob Knox and Timbaland. The rapper started to gain attention after releasing her song Icy Girl to Instagram, which garnered a million views in the first week. 